The Houston's posteromedial and posterolateral draw tests are used to detect the presence of a posteromedial rotary instability or a posterolateral rotary instability of the knee. The tests are performed in two parts. For both, the patient lies supine with the feet lying flat on the table, the hips flexed to 45 degrees, and the knees flexed to 90 degrees. To test for posteromedial rotary instability, ask the patient to turn the foot of the involved side inward. Sit on the dorsum of the foot to stabilize its position, grasp the upper tibia, and place the thumbs on either side of the patella tendon. Now push the tibia posteriorly and observe and feel for the extent of its backward displacement. The test is positive if the backward movement of the tibia occurs primarily on the medial side of the involved knee, and this movement is excessive when compared with the uninvolved knee. When positive, this test indicates possible injury to a number of structures, including posterior cruciate ligament, posterior oblique ligament, medial collateral ligament, and posteromedial capsule. To test for posterolateral rotary instability, the procedure is repeated with the foot turned outward. The test is positive if the backward movement of the tibia occurs primarily on the lateral side of the involved knee, and this movement is excessive relative to the uninvolved knee. When positive, this test indicates possible injury to a number of structures, including posterior cruciate ligament, lateral collateral ligament, and posterolateral capsule.